today we out here on Banana Lake. There's like three lakes connected to this place. We started on the main lake, never really fished it, gonna see what happens, but you guys stay tuned, follow along. Um, this may be an interesting day or it may be a boring day, we'll see. So basically after fishing around, um, throwing multiple different style of baits, um, different colors, we ended up just packing up and headed to our next stop. Alright y'all, time to make a move. Alright, here we go. We are going through the, I'm going to name it the Banana, Banana Lake Canal. It's like a, it's like Halloween. It's all foggy and shit back there. Oh my God. See it? It's all foggy. Alright, let's see if there's any up there. I got eight pound test on here. That allows that worm to be really natural down there thicker the line it, it basically messes with the action of the worm. Oh, there it is. See him? Oh. Oh, okay. That's not a bad one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Wait. Nice job. Yeah. Look at that little bitty one on the drop shot. Look where I Look hooked him. Stomach right in there he's a fat little joker ain't he those things are fat oh my god it's like a 10 minus a zero he's probably about a pound and a half what do you think it. we should do we should do a mini tournament we should do it just like us like how much how well, i already you beat catch? you <laughs> no we should do how much fish we can you want to try with the drop shot yeah so you still throw it the same way you close it, you let your line out like that, you close it, make sure it's set right. You're not always gonna catch the biggest fish on a drop shot, but when you're trying to fill a limit, a drop shot's really key because you'll catch those smaller fish. You know, you're using light line, there it is. Wait, real, oh, you gotta wait, you gotta give them time. Some of these are gonna be tiny, so you're gonna wanna give them a lot more time to take it. Trust me, there's more than a lot of fish up there that's what i'm saying when you pull up you just want to be subtle you want to be jerking it hard all right guys we're gonna make a change real fast while she's fishing these are dirty jigs best jig on the market these are luke clausen's pitching jigs this is a compact pitching jig and because i couldn't find any other colors i'm going to use a guggen bandito bug this might be a little bit too nah this would be a good compact I don't think it's the best trailer in the world, but we're going to try it. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. You guys, stay tuned. Get him, scoop him down. Oh, no, just. Alright, come on. Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I couldn't get that thing. Oh, Let's go, baby. I'm gonna get the scale. Let's go! As soon as I flip this girl, that thing in there, smoked it, son. I mean, smoked it. 
I thought I lost them. I seen I seen the reeds up there kept bouncing, so I threw my warm up in there, and as soon as I lifted, he had she had it. That's a decent one. Probably about four and a half. Five, I don't know. See what we got today. That'll, that'll be the tournament right there. I didn't think they were this shallow, but I think they are up here feeding. Four, four, four. You won the tournament. Yes, sir. It's a nice one. I like that. I want to keep. Are we gonna let this one go, y'all? Mm, I see. Let's go on that zoom old monster June bug. Same thing I caught him on out here the last time I was here. That's that Gamagatsu hook for you again. Kept him pinned for me while my daughter was able to get him in the net so I can come down there and help her. 20 pound P line, tactical fluorocarbon, 7.5 heavy rod. Very important to keeping that fish pinned. If I'd have had a medium action rod or smaller line, there's no way I would have got that fish in. You guys stay tuned. I think it's about to get real exciting around here. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we made a, a little bit of a move, not far, but just a little bit different of an area. Coming over this area, well, I know where some more bluegill beds are, and the wind's pushing right up onto it, so it should be a good area. Bluegill does to the right and to the left, all right up in here. Go, baby. On that high spot, like I just said, they're gonna be out here feeding. <sighs> yes, sir. Nice little two and a half. So that's four, five, six hours. Oh, oh, look, oh, look at that. What are you doing backflips down there? All right, guys, so it doesn't show it on Navionics but I'm out here just idling and the next thing you know where it should be about 20 feet deep there's a big high spot make two casts on it and catch that one but when I came across it it looked like I, there was a school of fish on it so one reason why I wanted to stop and fish it sure enough there was one on there so There's a bunch of them out here. I don't understand. I done marked. Oh, wait, it goes on this one. I done marked two more. Oh, there it is. That's a good one. Yes, sir. It's high spot. They're loaded on it. Took me a while to find them today, but we on them now. Wow, that one took my whole tail off. That thing was pretty. Yeah, you can tell that one's been out here and laying up on like the sand because of how his color of his uh, his body was. All right, y'all, let's get a couple more before we gotta head out. You can feel they're sitting down there on that shell, that high spot. You can feel the bumps of them dragging it through it. Bumps. I 
Hey, he's my friend. I found him. That's a baby one right there. They fight like they're big. All of them fight like they're big. Like, I literally thought that was a big one. I'm like, I'm not even back in there. Baby, look at hook set. Almost took his eye out. Mm. Yes, sir. Found another high spot. Wow. <gasps> Killing them on it, too. Cannot always trust Navionics because none of these are on there. Just gotta go out and look for them, y'all. Done rained on us. We done said we were gonna leave twice, and we keep. Well, I keep changing my mind, but. Do you blame me? Catching all these fish, but not for real. We're about to leave. Y'all stay tuned, though. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, we caught that one big one really early in the morning. Um, we went and kind of rolled with the wind, found some banks, uh, caught a couple more, missed some. As the day went on, a bite went away, and we ended up finding them on some humps. Some humps that were not marked on avionics so when you're out there on the water make sure you're out there graphing around you never know what you're gonna find so yeah if this is your first time um you know checking out my content make sure you hit the like button please subscribe to the channel because it really helps and leave me a comment down below and until next time tight lines